My name is Chris Kopak, incident commander of our COVID response on campus, also assistant vice president in charge of all our facilities, operations, and utility systems. That's 12 million square feet on campus. Our incident command team has come together, first with Dr. Kimona as incident commander, and then myself over a year now. As Dr. Robbins said, we need a consolidated approach to addressing the COVID response on campus. The benefit of incident command is streamlines procedures, operations, logistics, financial, legal, compliance, planning, all coming together as one. A great, great team to do that. This semester, we've continued the great effort that's taken place over the last 17 months. We've opened up campus, we've put additional signs, 5,000 signs have been installed. Over 1,800 hand sanitizers at every entrance, every classroom. Over 1,000 sneeze guard materials have been installed. And then MERV filters. We've gone ahead and installed MERV 13 filters to help filter out particles in there that may be holding COVID. We've also done analysis of our air handling systems to see what is the air exchange rate within our classrooms. Critical to make sure we're aware of that. In addition, our campus health continues providing the vaccinations we can test almost seven days a week. Sewage testing continues. And if they come back positive, 24 seven, our facilities management staff will support residents life picking students up from the dorm and transporting them over to our isolation and then back after isolation is done. And we will continue addressing the needs in a safe manner. So volunteers, our Pima County, state of Arizona, and the great faculty and staff of the university, our incident command team, facilities management, all come together as one to address the challenges to create a safe environment for all.